Good evening and salutations, my soap opera fans. So, question of the night. What is Ava's endgame from General Hospital? What is it? Everyone sits there and have these theories. She's working with Valentine. She's working with Pikeman. She's trying to get, you know, custody or whatever with her daughter. What is her ultimate endgame? Um, I'm pausing because I want to make sure that this is actually working. Okay, I think we're good. We're good. Yeah, we're good. I don't know, sometimes YouTube is actually pretty slow at times, and then there's just times where it's like, um, YouTube is buggy at times. Let me put my signature Ah, there we go. And now we're good. <laughs> All right, as you're coming into the stream, make sure you did hear the like button. Uh, Lisa said, did you hear Alistair Jordan got arrested? Who's that? Who is that, Caesar? I don't know. If I, I did so many videos. I don't know who that person is. So, you can tell me how that person is. A live streamer. Oh, okay. Look that up. Ronnie Ron is in the chat. What's good, Ron? What? Oh, yes. Now I know who you're talking about. Yes, I was just watching that. Yes, Caesar, I was just watching a video of her. Yo, I got to do a video on her. Thank you for thank you for that. I got to do a video on her. I was watching a little bit of it. That was crazy. Yo. Yep, absolutely. LaShante is in the chat. Ronnie Ron is in the chat. Yes, I was watching a video about that. That was Yeah, I'm definitely gonna, I'm definitely gonna sit there and do a video about that. Thank you. Thank you, Caesar. Uh I thought it was interesting, Ron. I thought it was interesting. CJ Cloves is in the chat. Jada is in the chat. How are you doing tonight, Jada? Yes, thank you for reminding me about that. She's just so busy with everything and watching the X-Men cartoon. I almost kind of forgot about that. So thank you. That was crazy. Cherry Ice Cream is in the chat. How you doing tonight, Cherry Ice Cream? It's like my volume just keeps jumping like there's no tomorrow. Yes, Cherry Ice Cream is in the chat. Laura B is in the chat. How you doing tonight? And then, yep. <laughs> I really sat there. I was like, Whoa. but yeah, Caesar, I saw a part of that stream. I was like, yo, this is insane. This chick is literally driving it and it's just beating the hell out of her boyfriend and to the point where her boyfriend snapped and grabbed in my hair. And then she's all like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. I'm so sorry. I was like, Boo, are you still just trying to play the victim? In this whole thing? Yes, what's good, CJ Clove? Autumn's in the chat. Autumn says, hey, Albert, if I was true and Nina, if I was true and Nina asked me to help her, then Fences Willow, I would tell her to kick rocks because let's face it, Nina cannot force Willow to have. Yes, and I agree with that. I agree with that. Yeah, that was, I mean, 
Yeah, he had to sit there and defend himself. But I don't, you know, Caesar, what's even really crazy, though? You filmed yourself doing a crime. Like, assault is a crime. And you're on a live stream and you're filming yourself. It's like you're telling on yourself. And you're you're giving the police evidence. Be like, hey, that'll be a really good idea. Let me film a crime. And and so if the cops need evidence, they can just go to my live stream. Yeah, I know I agree with that. I hundred percent agree with that. Dollar Medics is in the chat, was good. Yeah, I was going to say that even he realized that. That's why Nicole was like, you know what? Listen, I'll just keep my daughter away from your daughter. What are the problems Elsa won as she got them? Yeah. You know, honestly, to tell you the truth, I'm just glad she didn't hit anyone while she was driving. I mean, this chick is literally driving a vehicle. So much could have went wrong with that besides what she was already doing. The shot says, I wanted to see how Nina being on the board will work. Yeah, it is actually pretty stupid. <laughs> Blackmon is in the chat, aka Mr. GQ. Uh, not really, Lord B. You didn't miss anything. Hell, I didn't even want to do a review on it. But I did watch it, so you didn't miss anything. Yes, um, I just didn't get to it yet. I did see it. So I'll probably wind up doing another follow-up video with him. But no, I did see it, though. Monique is in the chat. Monique says, when Sonny said he would end Jason, I was like, yeah, right. Sonny should be worried about Jason and him because he said, if you exactly, exactly. And of course, you know, his fragile ego was not too happy with that. Jada said when Jason was like, if I were trying to kill you, you'd be dead. I was like, yep. That's why I've been so happy that Jason's been back. That's what I said. That's why I was like, what's going to be so different? <laughs> Even she said that. Even she said that. Yeah, but you know, at this point, Ron, I just want him to sign the papers this way he can get Jada off his tail. Because I actually tell you, too, she's been acting like an entire Karen about the situation. I am glad she did apologize to um, Stephanie. Hmm. Yep. She was like, yo, listen, you need to be more worried about Sonny's roommate. That was, and the thing is, that did just come from nowhere. You know, that didn't just come from nowhere. There's a reason why he actually said that. Yes, I'm, I was very happy about that. I was like, okay, if there's one good thing that's going to come out of that, is is that. Yep, I'm, I'm agreeing with that, Monique. I'm like, yo, let Sonny fight his own battles at this point since, you know, you don't trust them. And I mean, I get it. He is not on his meds. Honor says, what irritates me is when Nina was saying, oh, you took advantage of me. I'm like, Nina, be quiet. Drew didn't take advantage of anything. You were willing to participate in what happened with you. Exactly. Of course, I am still upset with Drew talking about, oh, you, you, you took time away from me and my daughter. I was like, no, Drew, you took time away from you and your daughter. I get that, Ron. I do. But I'm like, you know, just to get Jada off your tail, just do it. You know? Because now she's going to be even more irritating than she already was. Dolly says, I would think Jada is being a jerk, but Everett really should sign the papers. Exactly. If nothing else, just to get rid of her. This way she don't have... My whole thing is like, Jada, you were so you were so quick to go after Stephanie, but you had no problems not there for giving... Um, Eric and Nicole. Hey, bro, you can you can go somewhere. Uh, Monique said, "Didn't Carly tell Sunny the same thing?" Yep. 
Yep. I was like, yo, listen, Jason don't miss. Because Nina's a dingbat. Nina is a dingbat, that's why. That's exactly why. Oh, no, I can change this. Oh, okay. Anthony, the number one YouTuber. And what's good, Deluxe? I agree with that. I agree with that, um, Ron. <laughs> that is funny, darling. Glorified booty call. And no, I agree with that. Richard, what's good? And what's good, Deluxe? Um, says, I'm glad Leah recognized that. Yes, I was just going to sit there and say that. I was just going to sit there. At least, at least I wrote that in my notes, too. Alyssa was good tonight. I hope you are well. But um, I'm doing well, Richard. I am doing pretty well. Not gonna, not gonna lie. Can't complain. I was, do I'm doing pretty well. Um, but yeah, uh, Autumn, I am glad that that Liam did. I mean, here's the thing, Liam. Liam did apologize. He did still bat mouth Finn talking about, oh well, you know, you're his wife and he should be having film. Like, bro, who are you to sit there and tell what Finn should should be feeling? Monji says, have a feeling Kevin is Ryan, but Laura will be too stupid to notice. <laughs> Tracy Steve is in the chat. How are you doing tonight, Tracy? Hope all is well with you. You know, this whole blackmailing thing is so dumb. It's so stupid. This is why I had to do a review on Days of Our Lives, even though practically no one watches them. Um, but I had to sit there and talk about that situation because I'm like, how do you let this guy black me to the point where you can't even pay your own rent? AE, CBSO premiere today. Thank goodness. Okay. Um, it was good on my end, so <laughs> yeah, it was it was good on my end. So that's what I'm happy. Yeah, that's was, was, was weird today. It was whenever they do stuff like that, it's a little weird. Arnold says, I read this little plan, Nina, thinks she has with getting on the board is going to backfire. Hey, it was good. It's going to backfire because who should say Michael won't quit and go back to LQ and Michael has a lot of. Yes, I, you know, my whole thing is like, she's doing all this plotting and scheming to try to get back in, in Willow's good graces. But Drew is, Drew's going to help her out. Drew's going to help her out if it benefits him. Alex says it's so easy to see that something is wrong with Sonny's mess. Every every time he has an episode, he feels like everyone feels they can't take care of him and goes on his pointless rant. Monique says the look on Lily's face and Dean told her he was suing for wrong for termination. She was like, <laughs> <laughs> yes. My whole thing is like you made it. You made it worse. You made it so much worse. You could have just, 
you guys just sat there and just gave him the, his stupid precious character. Um, Darby says, I'll get the CBS East, so it worked okay. Yeah, that's what I said. I was happy. It worked for me. I mean, I, I get it. So I, I get it. Sometimes people don't like, they don't like the shows, but it's like, no offense, but <clears throat> nah, I'm going to just, I'm going to keep my comment to myself. I'm not, I'm not going to go there. Um, Dolly says Sloan used to have people to shake clients down when they didn't pay. She once threatened Leah with that. Why didn't she just threaten to have his legs broken if... Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's not really making a lot of sense. A says only watch JH. I mean, no, I get that, but like, I'm trying to say it's in the most delicate way possible. Mm, you know what? There's really no delicate way of saying it. Never mind. Um, at the bank, uh, Ron says, what, what, do you, what do you have to say about Sloan account being clean and why plead with Leo? Um, because this is a very bad story. That's why. This is a very bad story. Like, I get it, A. Um, I was watching some of it, Dolly. I actually, I watched seven minutes of it, and I got to sit there and say, bro, that show is a soap opera. That show is a soap opera. Jesus Christ. I got, I'm going to finish watching the rest of it, but, like, it was so soapy. It was so... No, I get it. I think I got burnt out with the other cells. No, I, I mean, I, I get it. Um, it was so soapy, Dolly, and I loved it. Autumn says, Albert, I don't like how Laura and Kevin are trying to get crazy. How the Weber acquitted of all her crimes. One hit replaced, they can't undo years. I said the same thing. I was, that's why I'm agreeing with Portia. Um, that's exactly why I agree with Portia saying. Um, you know, Sharian, um, I want the whole, I want, I want the evidence to come out. Because I feel like people are convicting him before everything comes out. And it's like they're going back and watching old tapes and stuff like that to try to make, oh, I knew he was bad. I knew he was this. I'm going to wait till the evidence comes out. So this says watch the whole episode because, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to watch it. Um, it was good, Darby. I'm going to watch it. But like I said, it's like the first seven minutes. I was like, bro, this is like, what? this is literally like watching a soap opera. Hell, even one of the characters is in there, Mitch and Soap Opera's in it. But, um... Okay, and fall asleep. I mean, have you, been, have you been liking it so far, Monique, or you just started watching it? And add I am to... Well, I mean, I, I get it. I think my thing is because you was like you're you're glad that they were preempted today. But if you don't watch it, then why does it matter? Like, why does it matter if? Oh, thank you, Sharon. P Diddy had gotten people killed and did evil ish. Hmm. I mean, how do you know that though? Like how do you how do you know that that's that's what I'm happening? I mean, thank you, Sharian, for that. But like, what what proof is what I'm saying? DC Soul Sanctuary, the one and only. Yeah, that's why. Yes, exactly. The. You got love triangles, you got drama. Yes, actually, you do got two love, um, love triangles. I actually just thought about that. You are correct. That's true. But I think it's just, it's one of those things where it's like, it's, it's very hard to judge something or to sit there and say one way or the other until everything comes out. You know, 
as they should, Shabrian, as they should. Yeah, as they should. Oh. I don't even understand why is he doing that. Like, why isn't it they're trying to run two? Like, you're trying to do two jobs, and like, it's just so stupid. Um. Unfortunately, for some odd reason, I got to sit there. Hang on in the comment section. I'm not going anywhere. Hang on in the comment section. But I do got to sit there. For some odd reason, now is the time that my laptop wants to reboot itself again. So. I'm just going to keep turning my damn battery until it does. So I'm not leaving.
think I'm back. Okay, I'm back. Well, that was that was annoying. Okay. So, what did I miss? Even though I was not gone, like literally, I was still in the chat the entire time. Um. By the way, where are we with the likes? But see, that's my that's that's my whole thing now. That's my whole thing with with Willow. Is that people sat there and they sided with Willow. I'm just like, how are we siding with Willow for? How would how would like Willow and Michael is the one that actually came to the Metro Court knowing that Nina works there? Why is it still so Was good, Big Nate? Was good, Jay Blue? Well, hopefully I'll catch up. Y'all hey, can still hear me now. That's good. Can anyone hear me? Because I, Jay Blue said you can't hear me. I don't have to restart this whole thing again. So let me know if y'all can hear me. Okay, good. Good. Thank you, Lord B, and thank you, Ed. Appreciate y'all. Thank you, Tracy. Okay, we're good. Thank you, Monique. Thank you, Solomon. All right. We are good people. Oh, oh yeah. That's why I was like, I didn't want to listen to that song. What am I doing? There we go. Thank you, Dolly. Thank you, Dolly Medics. Thank you, Monique. All right, so we're good. Um, the hell were we talking about while I was gone, even though I was still here? I think Ron asked me a question about... Um, I mean, that's true. That's true, Lashanta. out there. Honor says, Willow did say Michael asked her where she wanted to go and she chose the Metro Court. Then he needs to stop trying to get in other people. I, I, I get that. But see, here's my whole thing, though. Oh, yeah, no, that's that's very true, Ed. But he's also off his mess, too. I just, you know, I think my whole thing is when I sat there, and what's good, Amber? When I sat there and I watched today, when I actually I read the comments, And people are just saying, well, Willow and Michael were right to sit there. They, they were right as far as telling Nina to kick rocks or whatever or, you know, what they said. I was just like, um, yeah, I do realize that. Willow wanted to go to the Metro Court. She's not an idiot. She knows Nina works there. And I agree with that, Jay Bloom. I agree with that. I just think sometimes, and I said this in my review, so I can't wait to look at the comments um, tonight. But I'm like, so Shanta says, I'll be see tomorrow, Nina and Carly's face about coming out of Kate's room. She just slept with Joe. <laughs> Yeah, I saw the previews. I didn't know that she was talking to. I said the same thing, Dolomatics. But here's my thing, though. People don't like Nina, right? So what it comes down to is people are reacting off their feelings. It's really to stop threatening. Oh, Sonny, yes. Target says, I don't. 
know why people think that Willow is some kind of um, tremendous prize to be won. She's ain't she ain't all that. She's still Nina's daughter and, and now sister. She has a combo and she has caught Wes in her attic too. Queen Becky D is in the chat. How are you doing tonight? And Jim Blue says, I restarted the phone and I'm still not hearing anybody got anybody anybody got any ideas on how to fix it. That's so weird. Because I, I can hear actually tell you if I can hear myself fine. And it's not as slow as it was. You know, J Blue trying to yeah, you start your phone, yeah, that's crazy. I'm glad to hear that, Becky. Yeah, anybody got any ideas? Because that's crazy. Solomon says, I caught the last few minutes of BNB, and that, and that was pretty dumb, but even better than why not. Cindy was basically telling Luna to staff him again if RJ. Yeah, I, I, he's, oh. Tracy says, tell them to go out and come back in. Yeah. Um, Jay Blue, I would sit there and say log off of YouTube and then log back on. So it happened to me, so I left and I came back in. Yeah. Yeah, Ed, because I'm just like, you can't you can't be DA and run a demer at the same time. Like you, you just you can't do that, you know. Now Arthur says Michael and Willow shouldn't have to avoid the metric court because of Nina. I mean Nina still goes to Bobby's knowing that Carly Oh, come on. <laughs> Autumn, I love you, but no. It's called common sense. Don't go to her place and then wonder why she's in your face. You know exactly how she is. That's my whole thing. She even said that Bula has boundary issues. So if you know that somebody has boundary issues, why go to their place of business? Oh, we should. So you're going to go there, know how she's going to react, and then get all upset when she gets in your face. But that, it's just, it, it's called common <laughs> No, no, Lashanta, that's not my point exactly. That's no, that's not a good point. <laughs> I'm sorry, love, but no. And Krista will able be the one to save Sonny for Valentine's plan. I'm glad she's not involved in the switching of the medication. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um... I remember that, but those two aren't the same, though. Those two are not the same. Nina going to Kelly's is not the same thing as Willow going to the Metro Court knowing that she doesn't want anything to do with Willow, anything to do with Nina. Those, those two aren't the same. That's, that's the problem. They're, they're not the same circumstance. Monique says they both knew Nina worked. Uh, Nina Cole owns the Metro Club. Michael has money. Couldn't he have hired a private chef to make her favorite dessert? If they didn't want to... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Monique. Lady J is in the chat. Was good. Hope you had a good day. Now, Krista says, what about Sonny going to the Metro Club? But then that's stupid of him as well. I mean, if he wants to avoid it, then why go there? Bobby says, how did Finn react to... He didn't... He... Finn felt that Deacon is grieving and that is his mind. His mind's playing tricks on him. I, yeah, I get that, Lashanta, but... I mean, Lashanta, it doesn't, it doesn't change the basic question, though. Why take your boundaries to the place of knowing boundary temp? Thank you. 
Patriots said yes, the whole storyline with them going to the restaurant just to get some good dessert. Stupid, I'm just saying. Dooley says grabbing a cup of coffee on the way to work is not the same as parking it behind. And <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'm I just I'm not here today. I'm not trying to be mean or judgy when it comes towards other people's opinion. I just how is that the fit? <laughs> Hi, Lashante. What's good, Susan? And just as well as Portia and Curtis Sante to, to fill time and space. Tracy says, if I don't like someone, you have a problem with somebody, I'm not trying to go where they work at. Oh, my goodness. I just, hey, Lashante, that's not, that's not me. Here's the thing. That's not me defending Nina. What's good, Alameda? That's not me defending Nina. That's just basically saying that why would you go to her place of business if you know she's going to be there and you know how she's going to act? That doesn't make sense to me. No, it's like, oh, you know, here's the thing. You know, I'm always you're trying to keep a core and copacetic. I'm just saying, like, it doesn't make sense if you know how this person behaves. Why put yourself in that situation? Uh, just said Jason was great today and Sonny was working on. <laughs> I don't blame you, love. I do not blame you. Lashanta said the thing is Nina went to Kelly's to rub it in Carly's face. That's true. I don't. The same reason Nina went to Kelly's. What does that have to do with. What? I don't. I don't. I, I get that part, but I'm not understanding the connection. Solomon says, Ashley daydreaming about her three different personality made me want to turn the TV off. I was so frustrated. I literally fell asleep. Wow. You wasn't feeling this? You wasn't feeling it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tracy says, what do you think about Drew and Nina being together? You think it'll last a little bit or just... Definitely just a hookup. Unless they want to keep Drew on the show longer. You know what? They're technically, well, she's technically still married, so. <laughs> Lashanta says, you said Nini can go wherever she wants, so, so can they. Well, if that's the case, then needs to stop complaining then. If that's the case, they just, they just stop complaining that because it, they just sound stupid. Oh, I'm going to sit there and go to Nina's place of business so she can get in my face and I can sit there and, and say, you're wrong for doing that. Don't you get in my face, even though I'm showing up at your at your place of business. They sound dumb. They sound dumb. All I'm going to say is Sonny is going to get mad at Drew for sleeping with Nina. Belly Mama Heart Queen. Okay, didn't Drew, okay, didn't Nina whine? Yeah. Just as I can see Drew and Nina hooking up at least one more time. Ed said... What do you think about Eric and Sloan seeing the on GA on days? Um, I thought it was interesting. I, I it's it's so it's so hilarious because Eric is thinking about the wrong thing. Eric, I'm like, bro, as a as the man in the house, you should be stepping up with the finances. Sloan, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Thank you, Lord B. I'm gonna sit there and check the likes. I appreciate that. Thank you, Lord B. Thank you, Laura B. I'm going to check it. Uh, someone says, I would like to kind of see uh, OCD storyline. This storyline with Ashley Mental and this is also poorly written. Why did she lose her mind and why should we care? Okay, I see, I see where you're going. All right. Autumn says, I see 
I can see Nina conflict confiding in Ava about sleeping with Drew and Ava using that as ammo to destroy her hope of getting back with Sonny because Ava is up to something plus Sonny don't want Nina. Yes, that, that's exactly why I asked Maya. I was like, what do you think her end game is? And Solomon, no, I can see hope you know, here's the thing. Hopefully they write it a little bit better. But I could I can see your point though. Okay, let's check those likes. Thank you. Thank you, Laura B. Let's check those likes. We have 44 people in the chat. And okay, whenever YouTube decides to Oh, and we got yeah. Okay, so we got 25 likes. So that's that's um that's good. All right. So we're we're getting there. Oh, okay, we can turn that down. Jesus Christ. Uh Double Max says I bust out laughing watching no no job having Eric try to <laughs> Yes. Yes. Thank you, Unlimited. Yes, make sure you smash that like button because it that's how we actually got some new people in here. For the past two weeks, we've been getting new people in because they're hitting the like button. And yes, that is that is kind of out of pocket. Thank you for talking about data. Yeah, that is out of pocket. But again, as as the man of the house, you should be stepping up. Sloan, this is just stupid. It's just stupid. You're giving him a budget and you're trying to get him to spend less. Oh, I'm going to give you 35%. What? Yeah, no, but here's the thing that I do like. I like the fact that Xander is trying to find out who framed him because it's not just enough for him to be free, but he needs to sit there and figure out who went after him and why. Because what if that person comes back? And it says, um, Eric needs to go back to being a photographer at Basic Black. Exactly. Talking about, oh, well, when my money starts picking up, bro, you have a kid. You've been wanting to be a father forever. Did you forget about the fact that it costs money to raise children? That's the thing, of, that's the thing about Eric. Eric, in a lot of ways, lives in the fantasy land of, oh, I just want to be a father. And what about a job? All I'm says it's so hard to write for soaps now. I think it's the most difficult job for a writer. So many characters, too many fan bases that go after other fan bases within the same soap. That's very true, Eliminate. But I mean, that's a good question if you have the trust fund. But just going back to that, yes. I mean, the fan bases have been both positive and negative. Because at the end of the day, you can't please everyone. You can never, you can never please anyone. So don't bother to try. Just, I mean, trust me, I still learn that lesson. Well, I try not to sit there and do that. I realized a long time ago that I can't please everyone. You know. Um, Billy says Sloan should have told Eric to get his butt back to Brady Pub. He could have been busting those tables with Tate was in jail. Exactly. All the said you can't please everyone, but that's the vacations for every story. And that's true, Elimited. That's very true. And see, that's the thing. They can't be. It can be CJ Clove. Monique says it's like the people who don't have a man or a woman tell you about relationship. It's the same thing with Eric. You can't have a job. You you don't have a job, but yet you want to give advice to people who do have a job. Yes. I should have went to go get some soda. I don't understand how people don't watch the show but still complain and criticize. Yeah, it's a very hard thing to do because, like, even for my, even for 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 me, 
I criticize the show for not always bringing it every day. But then I have to sit there and look and be like, well, do I bring it every day with the videos that I put out? You know? Well, you know, Paulina also needs to be fired for hiring EJ, so that's that's just as much as on her, Ron. As in the forest. Oh, okay. Like this fall on Thanksgiving. Oh, that's a long way, but okay. That's cool. You know, I should tell you, both of them do a good job. Now, her and the other one do a good job. This happened, but this should have happened a lot more because of how Kristen stole Nicole's life and made everyone believe Holly was dead. That's true. They both had good points. But also, I'm like, you know, Kristen, you should not be judging anyone because, boo, <laughs> talk about bad influences. Oh, nice. Okay, Dolly. That's true, Limited. CJ Close says some of the fan base is impossible to make happy. That's true. That is very true. Um, it's a, it's a damn if you do, damn if you don't sort of situation a lot of times. So it's, you know, honestly, tell you the truth, this is why I don't go on soap Twitter. This is exactly why I do not go on soap Twitter because I ain't dealing with that. I go on Twitter for other reasons, but I will not go on soap Twitter. And it's, you know, it's amazing when people complain when they go on social Twitter. It's like, well, what did you think was going on to happen to me? Oh, I went on social Twitter and I got into the arguments with a bunch of people. I'm like, well, then why did you go on social Twitter for it? You know social Twitter is, is, well, Twitter is the Wild West. Why would you go? Angel Blue, yes. That's why I don't go on there. That's exactly why I don't go on there because it's toxic. But I don't understand why people go on there. Though. Yeah, though. Ah, okay. Yeah, I just, like I said, I know both, both of them do a good job. Both of them, like, they do a really good job. Bobby says, I don't have Twitter. Even if I did, I wouldn't go on. Yeah. I'm glad they had that Jay Blow. Lemon says, I just don't like the personal attack on actors. It's yes. That's that's where because I saw something like that. I saw somebody snuck there bragging because they got blocked by Laura Wright. Like it was some sort of badge of honor. I'm like, you people just out of pocket. Like if you don't like somebody, just don't follow them. Like, why is that so difficult? CJ Close says, um, CJ Close says, I learned the hard way. I refuse to go on social Twitter anymore. It's a bunch of people complaining about GH, especially if the show is so bad, why continue to watch? Exactly. Exactly. I I agree. Caroline, Caroline, how are you doing tonight? It's good to see you. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and my whole thing is like, if you don't like her, you don't like her. That's fine. Just don't go on her page. Angel Blue says, I don't know what's worse. So Twitter or the message boards back in the day. I just lurk on so Twitter. I don't interact. Well, Lord, Lord, it doesn't, Lord, it doesn't affect you mentally. You know, I let me know, I feel like it just, it brung it out. It brung out the crazy in people. 
Oh, of course. It's, it's good to see you, Caroline. Caroline Spencer, I like that. Ron says, Aubrey, and we forget that Marcus Columb being harassed on Twitter saying that it, yeah, 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 it's, it's, it's stupid. But, um, that's why I choose to annoy it, ignore it. G, hey, Aubrey, never mind. G, it's good to see you again. Dolomite says, what gets me is the people who want the shows to get canceled. It's crazy. I, yeah. Um, I've seen that. And I'm not going to name names, but I've seen people come in here and say that they want Bo the Beautiful to get canceled. I was like, you're not the center of the universe. If you don't like it, then you don't need to watch it. You don't need to watch it, but you're not you're not the center of the universe. That's why I don't understand. I don't remember people being so weird. Yeah, no, like I said, let me, it, 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 that definitely took it to a new level. Uh, Monique says, I wonder, can Daniel Sue chance for copyright infringement if they decide to have their own gaming using the same formula as Omega Spear? You know, Monique, Lily made the situation worse. Um, and she took a personal she took a personal thing and, and made a decision out of it. Like she she used emotions to handle business, and that's always a bad recipe. What's good, Jonathan? I want Sonny to walk in on Nina and Drew. I understand why she's still pining over that man. Dolomax says, people are like, I hate the storyline, so I want 300 people to lose their jobs. <laughs> they don't, exactly. And that's the thing, Dolomax, a lot of times when they say stuff like that, it's off of emotion. That's the thing, it's off of emotion. Exactly, uh, exactly, Alameda. that's exactly what Dolomax said. And I agree with that. And that's very true, Monique. Some people can't because they choose not to. I don't know if they were, I don't know if they were married at the time though, Caroline. She says, Robert, thank you. You have, thanks. Did you ever hear about, I'm just asking because I feel traumatized and harassed and harassed from them and they made me to go. I've never, no, I've never actually heard of them, Jane. I'm sorry that that happened to you, Dom. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry to hear that, though. Maybe, maybe Jonathan. Um, but I didn't like, you know, Sonny threatening Jason. I was like, yo, you were just out of pocket. Um, Mel says, Kristen has kidnapped Daniel, blackmail Sammy, stole Brady, and Teresa's beauty to insert in herself. Yes, um, yeah, she was listing all those crimes today. No, it was, it's, it's insane. Kristen is definitely dangerous. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm limited. Like I said, they think they're the center of the universe. That's why That's why sometimes when I, I go like on... Um, she says, I was especially... And, and although I was so mostly to the point that I was crying because... Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that, Jane. I'm really sorry to hear that. Angel Blue says Sonny's office mess won't care about Nina and Drew, but Nina seems seeing Sonny and Ava. Oh yeah, she's gonna lose it. By the way, if I do miss people's comments because we got forty five people in the chat, don't take it personal. Um. 
Ron says, I would, what's your take on people saying, how dare you take a picture with her? She stole, um, they're nut jobs, Ron. They're absolute nut jobs and they're sad and pathetic. Um, Johnson says, yeah, but Sonny isn't thinking straight. That's why, oh yeah, of course. That's why I'm not, like I know a lot of people are not getting upset with Sonny and being like, you're out of pocket, you're this, you're that, but I'm like, you do realize that he is off his meds, right? Jay Blue says, um, Nicole has stole AJ in the series, baby. Yeah, no, yeah, they, yes, Chris did bring up the, that stuff as well. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, Jay. Um, I mean, the only thing I can sit there and say is just try to stay away from them. That's all. Owner says Nina will try to seduce her if she sees Ava and Sunny since Drew will say, I told you so. Keep reaching for the cup like it has soda in it and it doesn't, and it's still pissing me off. Um, no, I say I don't agree with that statement, Ryan. <laughs> I definitely don't agree with that statement. Um, I do believe that you can't please everyone, and that's true, but Elliman says Sonny thinks he's doing the right thing, taking his medication on schedule, playing with someone's medication. Health is demonic. Okay. Yeah. Johnson says the things coming from Sonny's mouth to Jason is heart is disheartening, but I can't fault him to yes. That's exactly exactly. Every time I do my reviews, my sister can't talk about some of the stuff that Sonny has said and done has been out of pocket, but um it's been because he's been off his meds. But I've seen people come in and be like, Well, you know, Sonny, Sonny's pissing me off, but Sonny's getting me really We're, we're just going to do that tonight. Um, Monique says, if, Son if Sonny catches Nina and Drew, she should say, we're getting divorced. You don't... She should. I mean, you slammed the door in somebody's face. Like, that's just completely an idea out of pocket. J. Blue says, and Sonny keeps saying he's not a child. He sounds like a child. Hopefully, Christina will stop Ava. I see that Ava will find out that something is off. Yeah, because she had a couple of them. And she can even fall asleep. I call this the Pike Mary reprogramming of Sunny. You know, CJ Clove, I've seen people, yeah, I've, I've went on Twitter and I've seen people been like that's out of pocket and so i i understand where um harry's is coming from on that on that front it's time to shine okay <laughs> well i'm glad i'm glad you um becky says i bet who messed with sunny's meds uh valentine Valentine um, hired some doctor to give Sonny half his medication. So he's he's been definitely off. Lashanta says, I read how Chrissy can see Ava but not Nina. Well, sometimes when you're close to someone, it's, it's, it's hard to sit there and, and, and see certain signs. You know, she treats her as a friend, a confidant. But with Chrissy, Chrissy isn't that close to her, so she can see things a lot more clearer. J. 
Johnson says, hopefully tomorrow we'll get more answers of Everest Pass. Hopefully so. I mean, I know they got to sit there and do this slow burn stuff, but sometimes, like, even right now, I'm like, bro, just sign the, just sign the papers just to shut Jada up. And Monique, I hope I get to sit there and see you this weekend. I'm going to try to do at least two live streams on Saturday if everything pans out. Once she. Unlimited says, I used to debate, I used to debate with my grandfather about Phyllis versus Sharon. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Lobby. Yes, 47 people yet, 33 likes. Come on now. <laughs> help help me on. And Alyssa is still here. I was wondering about that. Because you didn't say, usually when you leave, you say bye or, you know, I'll see you later. So, and thank you, Lobby. Yes, make sure you hit that like button and become a member. We're going to have fun this weekend. I mean, yeah, no, I, I get that, Jonathan. I, I just, I just, I, I, I can't, I can't with Jada at this point. Like, I really can't. <laughs> Thank you, Lemony. Yes, make 49 people. Wow, yeah, definitely hit that like button. Um, Becky says, not Ava will maybe notice that she can take a handful of those pills and nothing will happen. <laughs> well, hopefully she doesn't, because, but no, I mean, I, I get why. Yeah, I got, I got, I got to learn how to cook a little bit more. I got to learn how to cook a little bit more. That's awesome of you to do that for your dad. Oh, yeah, of course, Ryan, because they'll slap me around and call me Susie. Darby says, even if Everett signs the divorce papers, Jada seems like the kind of person who will stay on to get the last I told you so. so funny, she didn't have that same energy with, with um Eric. Have a good night, Jay Blue. Johnson says, I'm sure Everett wants to get Jada off his case, but he also believes si signing permanently will cause more problems that he doesn't want to deal with. Hmm. Um, I know this is going to trigger you, Alyssa, but I, I feel like I have to sit there and say it. I am glad that she did apologize to Stephanie because she was out of pocket for that. So she kind of she kind of redeemed herself a little bit today. Um, Monique says if Disney Plus decides to bring back Superhuman Samurai or VR Troopers, yeah, those <laughs> VR Troopers is definitely something else. I, I, I will sit there and say that. It was definitely something else. But, um, you know, I went back and I tried to watch certain stuff with VR Troopers, and I'm just like, man, this is. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is an adventure to watch. Well, we're gonna agree to disagree on that one, Alyssa. <laughs> I know you. I know you like. I know you like Jada, but. Um, she was out, she was out of pocket for that. I mean, I'm going to stand 10 toes down on that. I don't know. That's a good question. Like, how are you going to sit there and blame her for not knowing? That's my whole thing. Um, Susan says, so Sonny will be Forever grateful to Abel Figure figuring out his pills are, are, are useless. Is that where the story is going? That's a good question. She isn't sorry. I mean, she shouldn't be sorry. She didn't do anything wrong. She's, I have to tell you too, Jada was like, you're just as much of a victim as I am in this whole situation. Yeah, I remember you saying that yesterday. Um, and like I said, we're gonna we're gonna agree to disagree on that. But um yeah. Like I said, she apologized, which she should have, and okay. Well, you know, listen, that's you then. But like I said, she apologized because she felt she was wrong. I felt she was wrong, and hopefully, you can sit there and move forward. Maybe. I'm thinking it's DID at this point. Because there's too much stuff like that's going on with him mentally for him to have a twin. And you know what? You know what? I hope so, Jonathan, because it is stupid for EJ to sit there and try to be the DA and and run it the mirror. Unlimited EJ is. Hmm. I'm glad you did, because <laughs> I'm not going to lie, Janet. I was kind of going in on her hair yesterday. It, 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 it definitely seemed like a mess. It seemed like she just woke up and just said, F it. <laughs> Monique says, <clears throat> haven't been watching days. Did something happen to Everett as a child? Why, which is why he doesn't like being called Bobby. Johnson says, I think it's the idea and Chad could be the first person to recognize it. You know, Alyssa, the only thing I, well, okay. So I see what you're saying. The only, and I, and I said this in my review. Okay. I said this in my review. I don't think that Stephanie should have outright taken him back. Yeah, I think she should sit there and just kind of keep her distance see how it plays out and then if she wants to be back with him cool but i don't think that she should just start hanging like she feels sorry for him and i get that but i don't think it's a good idea to get too close on top of the fact that he is still married
The only DID character I liked in all. Just, ah, uh, okay. I thought you was going to sit there and say Vicky. Um, but okay. Yeah, I think with, I think with Vicky, she had like five authors. Ashley has two authors. Yeah, it was um, Jess and Tess, right? I remember the actress was actually on General Hospital for a little bit. And then they just killed them off off screen. I always one. I always wonder what was there like a backstory with that. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's what I said. I think she should sit there and hang out and just kind of chill out for a little bit. Oh, Jess also have five press now. I thought it was just um. I thought it was just just two. Okay, wow. Elena says she was yes. Claudia, thank you. Yes. Possible, Alyssa. Possible. Johnson says if it has the idea, it will be the first male character I've seen with that condition on the show. Really. As says, Tess, Bess, Les, and Teen J What? <laughs> okay, that's, wow. Unlimited says, I think the actress went to a primetime show that didn't work out. I'm ashamed of them. Johnson says, I think it's the other way around. Hmm. Unlimited says, I remember watching it. I think it was on Fox or NBC, and it was canceled after one season. Damn. Maybe she can sit there and come back to soaps again then. Maybe she should come back to soaps at this point. It's just the way that they killed the off off screen, which is always like, wow. And then even, yes, you're right, Alyssa K. How? Yeah, that was, there was a point I wasn't watching and I came back. Yeah, she did have DID. Um, Monique says, I read that people with DID may have been abused blank as a child, so they create different personalities to protect themselves. And maybe what Everett, aka Bobby, is doing could be wrong. Yeah, that that could that could be the case, Monique. You could be right. Y'all can be right about that. Unfortunate. Only says that's when her alters were triggered as a teen. Oh, that's why they call her. Make. Um, but yeah, I, I, it's, it's, it's going to take a bit to get used to with Ava's new hairstyle because, um, like I get, I see what she, I see what they're trying to get her going, but it's like, boy, the short hair just worked for you. you. Could be, could be the shotgun. Johnson says Everett was probably abused by his father as a child and that Bobby Arthur was triggered later on. Yeah, because he kept saying that they mentioning his mother, saying that they're saying, well, why did you do it? Why did you do that for her? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I took, a, I took a break watching it, and when I came back, they had a different Kate Howard. Um, no, actually, 
I came back and she was she was dead. Never mind. Well, you know, Janet, they're, you know, Sheila isn't dead, so they're going to bring her back at some point. Janet says, will Luna tell RJ? Hopefully. Because she kept saying she was going to do it today. She was like, yo, listen, I'm doing this. Poppy, you ain't stopping me. Zenday, you ain't stopping me. Now Poppy wants to sit there and get off the special men. So I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> I feel like she's going to check it out, though. I feel like Luna is going to want to tell RJ, and she's going to check it out again. That's why. That's why when she said that, I, I wasn't even too invested. I was like, okay, sure, you're gonna you're gonna sit there and tell. Cause I just, I just, I don't believe it. I don't believe that she will. Now, if she does, it will be shocking because I want to sit there and see RJ's reaction. Will it be like a physical fight between those two? Who knows? But I am very curious about it. So, Lashanta, you liked it. The Nikki, the Nikki, Vicky, um, and all that stuff. I don't know. Like I said, I watched I watched one like well, one like to live for maybe four years. I think I watched it up until two thousand and two. Then I just stopped. All right, they still actually have message boards. I read on a message board saying that Hope doesn't miss Thomas because of how she dressed at the office. Yeah, she was. I still believe ultimately she was stringing him along like there was no tomorrow. And I've seen I've seen people come in try to defend Hope, saying that she wasn't ready to be married, this, that, and the third. That's another thing. That's another thing. Oh, I just let her talk about how she doesn't want to be she doesn't want to be married and stuff. Oh, I like the conventional way that we, you know, we're not conventional and that's what works for us. And this level of insecurity that RJ has is nice on one hand because she is a 10 and the fact that she still has insecurities is interesting. On the other hand, it's kind of annoying. Exactly. Exactly. Ron says, Albert, and the thing is that Everett ain't even playing Jada, paying Jada any attention. Well, yeah, not that version anyway. Not that version. Maybe. Or maybe she's just insecure. You know, she keeps in the day projecting. You know, if Tucker, my whole thing is like Tucker keeps in the day saying, hey, listen, I'm not into, I'm not into Ashley, I'm into you. But, you know, how many times can a man sit there and reassure someone before he's like, you know what? I just, I, I can't with you anymore. I think a lot of times women think that men have this infinite supply of patience. Well, you know, Ron, that may that may wind up happening. Zendy couldn't do it before. I don't know what's going to be so different. And it says, I hope Ava will be smart and set up Clyde and get the cops involved. 
Ed, I think that Clyde is going to try to kill Ava. I think Clyde is going to try to kill Ava. Hey, give me that black book. It's my only, it's my only link that's going to catch me on all these crimes. You honestly think that he's just going to let that go? Have a night, Laura B. It was really great to see you. And I hope I get to see you next time. And yeah, I'm actually going to sit there and call it in that as well. Because unfortunately, I got to wake up at like four o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock in the morning. And I definitely do hate that. So that sucks. Uh, that sucks. Yeah, well, you know, Lashata Love does that to you. But yeah, so I'm going to sit in the stream here. I do want to thank everyone for joining. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Blackman. Thank you, Ed. Thank you, Lashata. Have a good night, Queen Janet. Have a good night, Alyssa. Have a good night, Limited. Have a good night, CJ Clove. Have a good night, Monique. Have a good night. I'll let me know. I said that. Have a good night, Ronnie Ron. Have a good night, Melly Mama, Horror Queen. It was really great to see you again, Alyssa. Have a good night, Queen Becky D. Thank you for joining. It's always a pleasure to see you. Johnson says, join us next time for another edition of Soul Chat with Albert Bostic. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. You're always, you're always a Jew. Ron says, so where is Officer Goldman? Um, shocking up with Clyde. Oh, trust me, Black Mind, I never do. <laughs> I just pretend like I do. Thank you, Black Mind. I need you as well. So thank you for always coming through and showing support. I appreciate you a lot, Black Mind. Thank you, Johnson says, good night, everyone, and hit that like button. Yes, thank, make sure you do hit that like button on the way out because it really does help. Thank you, Jonathan. Have a good night, Ronnie Ron. Have a good night, Monique. I mean, I Island Breeze. Um, have a good night, Unlimited. Thank you, thank you, Becky D. Rest well and have a great day tomorrow. You as well, Becky. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, always appreciate you, Black Mom. And I appreciate everyone in this chat. Have a good night, Susan. Thank you for joining. It's always a pleasure to see you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Like Johnson says, make sure you do hit that like button because it really does actually help. We had like 50 something people in the chat tonight. And that, that's because of hitting the like button and sharing. Make sure you become a member. Laters. <laughs>